Welcome to Plus Online School. We are taking our sex education corner and today we are going to discuss an issue that is becoming more common within the young folks. Things that affect our teenagers are what we talk on Plus Online School or things that affects our children is what we talk on our sex education column. So today we are going to talk about sexting. When we talk about sexting, it has to do with sending, um, the act of sending messages, either text messages, video clips, photos of individuals. Most times they are nude photos or they are explicit videos of oneself. Why is this an issue? It's an issue because it's causing a lot of havoc to the young minds. So we are going to look at why sexting is bad, the negative effects of it. A young person sending a nude photo to one or more person or sending provocative um, photo to one or more person or sending explicit video clips connoting sexual activities it's wrong we find out today that some young individuals some teenagers are getting involved in these acts and it's leading to a more disastrous end than they think so let's look at the negative effect of sexting. This is an issue and we're going to discuss it here on our sex education because it has to do with the sexuality of the individual, the sexual feeling of the individual. Now, we've told you what sexting is, the act of sending messages, the act of sending photos, the act of sending explicit video clips or nude photos of an individual to one or more persons. These persons can be your friends. It can be your boyfriend, it can be your girlfriend, it can be your acquaintance, it can be your peers. Sometimes these young ones are lured into doing such things or pressured into doing such things or even bullied into doing such things. We're going to look at the negative effect of it so that when you are pressured into doing it, lured into doing it, you will know the effect that you stand to meet either now or in the future. One is such provocative video clips can go viral. It can go to more persons than you think. People you trust that you sent this video to and that they will keep it as secret as possible but might not be well trusted to that extent and they might send such video clips out there in the world and you have sold yourself out in the world remember in this era of social media internet always know that whatever you send out is out in the world you don't have a control over it. No control over such acts. So be warned. If they go viral, you will have trauma at the end of the day. And you'll find out that your purpose of sending it initially might not be the purpose. It's going to be used out there. So such video might go viral or spread around that may tarnish your image, your personality, and will not say good of you. Secondly, your future relationship might be ruined. Either a boy or a girl. Imagine sending nude pictures of yourself out there. And in the future, you want to get married to somebody, even if you are a girl or a boy. And the person gets to know of such photos, such activity that happened in your past. For some persons, it's a no-no and it might end the relationship. Alright, so that's why you want to be very careful about what you send out there in the internet. You don't have control over it. 
it might destroy your future relationship. All right, the second one is mental health. Some persons that trust their friends so much that send such videos end up being traumatized because of the way the videos have gone viral. It can lead to sadness, anxieties, depression, loss of friendship, thought of hurting oneself, in extreme cases, thought of ending it all, killing oneself, suicidal attempts to end it all because you feel that you are now dirty. The world look at you in the negative perception. The fourth one I want to talk about is that it brings bad reputation to you and it can extend to your family. So when you look at the uh, reputation you want to maintain, you think twice before you send such pictures out there in the internet. Don't trust people so much. Don't be too don't, don't trust too much that you think that such uh, so, so so person will keep my information secret. Um, those are not the kind of things you just send out. Your new pictures, provocative pictures, explicit video clips that um, shows sensitive body parts. Even showing your own face is a no-no. Be very careful. It is something that um, is destroying a lot of young individuals. So please, know of it now so you can help yourself. You're helping yourself is not attempting to do it at all. And parents, please talk with your children. That's why we're discussing it here on our sex education. Let them not be pressured to do it. Let them not be bullied to do it. Now the fifth one is legal consequences. If you do it and you are below 18, the law will catch up with you. You may end up entering the sex offender registry, um, uh, registry book for life. Sex offender registry book for life. And you know what that means? In advanced country, it might affect some of your careers. It might affect your personality to the core. So please, it is illegal to do it when you are below 18. But it tarnishes your image even at any age, your reputation, your personality. The aftermath of it can be very disastrous. Number, nine, uh, number six, ruin your career. Like I said, in the number fifth part, the legal consequences. There are some um, organizations that might want to employ you that may do a due diligence on you, carry out a research on you, find out that you don't have such sex uh, scandal record before you are employed. And what betide you if at the end of the day, they find out that at some point in your life, you were involved in such activity, it becomes disastrous for you. So let's be warned. Let's take care not to get involved with sex in sexting. Alright, remember that sexting has to do with sending of messages, photos, video clips, explicit video clips of your body, a nude picture of yourself via the internet to one or more person. Then the number seven is it leads to cyber bullying or environmental bullying. Imagine that people within your environment have seen your nude picture. Imagine that uh, friends you have online have seen your, your uh, explicit video clips that you have posted to somebody and somebody have posted it to another and it's just circulating everywhere. You can be bullied. You can be talked down on. You can be insulted. A lot of things can be done to you that will affect your mind and your mental health. So be warned. Now we have uh, another one that is social embarrassment. Social embarrassment. Socially, if these things go viral, you see that people 
parents will warn their 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 children against have, having you as a friend. They will see you as a wayward child, a spoiled child, someone not to be reckoned with, a useless being, because of just that one act. So one act of carelessness can land you into trouble, then blackmailing this uh, risk. Imagine that the person you sent this um, information to, it's your boyfriend, and later the two of you go part ways. The person can use this information, either your boyfriend or your girlfriend can use it to blackmail you, looking for financial benefits. If you don't give me so 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 amount, I'm going to send your nude picture viral, I'm going to send your explicit video clip viral, and you are afraid. You will be afraid to tell your parents what is involved, and you start sourcing for money anywhere you can. It can even lead to prostitution, it can even lead to stealing in order for you to meet the need of these individuals so that such uh, video clips will not go viral or such um, photos will not go viral so it can lead to blackmailing and then those messages and images will last as long as the internet lives and so look at it the internet has come to stay it's not going anywhere soon we don't even think it's going to go out. So those information stored via the web, you can't retrieve it. It's like spreading feathers in the air. You don't know where they have fallen into. So you can't go there and start picking them one after the other. This information has been spread through the air, into the inner web. A lot of persons have it. You can't retrieve it. So have it at the back of your mind that this information can last for as long as internet lives and uh, that means it's going to haunt you for the rest of your life and then the, uh, that's the tenth one so let me run through it again so you understand the risk involved one the videos might go viral and spread all around two it can jeopardize your future relationship three it can lead to mental health four gives you bad reputation five it has legal consequences six ruin your career seven leads to cyber bullying or environmental bullying eight social embar um, embarrassment nine blackmailing the risk of blackmailing and then the tenth one these images that have been sent viral cannot be retrieved they remain there for life or they remain there as long as the internet continues. So be wise and don't uh, get yourself indulged in such activity like sexting. It is wrong. It's a sex education corner where we talk about sexual issues that affect our young ones. Parents, be on the know, discuss with your children, let them understand the implication. They might not be mentally, um, they may not mentally know the consequences of it all discuss with them so that they know what it all means and why they should desist from it all right so it's my pleasure having you here and next time we're going to discuss other sexual issues that affect our young ones around our environment thank you for being part of our class today what are the content you want us um, to put up for you please if you have any question comment below the comment box if there are topics you want us to cover tell us below the comment box subscribe if you don't subscribe thank you for always being here i'll see you in the next